Hi guys and welcome back to Danalad UK and I know some of you have been wondering where I have been. We do have an update on this video. I have recently been striked on YouTube but we'll talk about that just in a moment. So if you stick around I'll be back in a minute straight after this. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So recently I had an email from YouTube saying that I'd been copyright striked on two videos and I've come to the conclusion now that the IPTV videos that I do show you guys, I am getting striked on. So they are cracking down on this now. So what we need to do, I can still show you the free IPTV services, but what I can't show you is them actually working. So I can talk about them, but I can't show you them working. That's up to you guys to go and click on them and install them. But what I can do, I can show you how to install them. And if you guys have got any questions, then you need to message me direct and I can talk you through them. That's probably the best way to do it. Just drop a comment on this video and I will comment back and I will help you guys as much as I can. Right, so first of all, now we're back. We are strike free. I don't want to get any more strikes in this video, so I'm not going to click on any of these apps. I'm just going to show you how to install them. So you guys have been crying out about IPTVs, what's not working, what is working. Well, there is not much working at all now. So what we need to look at is Mobdro on the left. Plenty of you guys know what Mobdro is. You've used Mobdro quite a lot. Mobdro is very good and it's still working really, really well. And now they've removed the ads from the service. It seems to be a hell of a lot better. And we're going to talk about Swift Streams. Swift Streams has had a new update and it is working really, really well for the free IPTV. But the Fire Stick Remote is a little bit dodgy. It's very hit and miss, so you don't know what you've clicked on. Sometimes it comes up and it works really fine. But if you guys can get around working with this remote, install mouse toggle you can get a free IPTV service, but I really don't know how long this is gonna last. Evolve worked for a week, and I got striked on that video, which obviously I couldn't post anything for a week, so I've not been able to speak to you guys. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to install Swift Streams. I can't show you it working, but as I said before, make sure you drop a comment below, and if you have any issues, just let me know. I will check the app, make sure it is up and running before this is released. So let's get to it. So first of all, guys, we need to go over to the settings. We need to go down. We need to go onto My Fire TV. Use the developers options and make sure both of these are switched on. Then we need to go back all the way to the left and we need to search for Downloader. If you've got this, then you don't need to do this part. You need to skip onto the next part. So Downloader, there it is. I've got this installed guys, so you go ahead and install it. So that's the one you install in there. So open it up. And what we're gonna be typing in here is get dot file linked. dot com. And then just click go. So what it's going to do now, guys, it's going to install file link directly on your device. All you have to do is install it. So there it is. Just click the install. And then just open it up. Right. So the code that we're going to be inputting in here is a 508-539-85. Then when you've done that, just click continue and I will drop this in the description down below. So as before guys, a lot of these IPTVs tend to use different players. The player that I do suggest for this is MX player. But first of all guys, I need to speak to you a little bit about VPNs. I'm getting a lot of questions now saying, do I need a VPN? Is it reliable? 
the best VPN at the moment, guys. It has been for a while. It is IP Vanish. It's really good. I don't think they do a free service, so you guys need to weigh it up. Is it going to be worth it? Is your internet safety good enough? So I do suggest start using them. If you can get a free one, use a free one. But if you really want a really secure, really reliable one, use IP Vanish. There is a discount code down in my description. I don't earn anything off it, so you can click on that. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go and install MX Player Pro. A few guys have had issues with MX Player in the past. This version is working really, really well. I've had it working on all the applications that I use, so install that. And then what we're going to look for now is the updated version of Swift Streams. So there it is, guys. It's version 1.1, .1, and this is ad-free, so you're not going to get any ads. As I said before, you might have some issues with the Fire Stick Remote, but if you get your head around it on how it works, you're going to love it because it really does give you the options of HD and normal TV. So just go ahead and download and install it, guys. And then once you've done that, just open it up and just let me know what you think. I'm sorry I haven't been around. I didn't want to get striked, but... That's where I've been. I've not abandoned yet. I will be posting videos regularly again. I am going to try and push now for more Cody builds and possibly more TV and video apps. I don't seem to get strikes on them, so we will start looking into them a bit more. I can get you an IPTV service, which does cost. It's a monthly cost, or it's £40 a year. That'll be $60.00. But it does work really, really well, guys. But we have to speak about that off YouTube. So you've got my Twitter in your description. Just message me on there and we can talk about that. And I can pass your details on to a server company, which then will contact you. So, guys, I'd like to say thank you very much. It's great to be back. Thanks for coming by and thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. And worrying where I've been. But, yeah, we're back. So... If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, guys. And I did say I will be choosing a winner at 7,000. We've gone over 7,000 now. I will be choosing a winner for the 4K Fire Stick. I'll do a double winner at 8,000, guys. So you've got to be in that to win that. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.